In one hour, Columbus Education Association members will meet and determine what's next when it comes to a teacher's contract. The district and the union have reached a stalemate when it comes to negotiating, and a final offer was given to CEA leaders. NBC4's Karina Chung joins us now live. She spoke with parents in the district. Karina, what have you learned? Well, parents that I spoke to say they are watching all of this closely. What's happening with the district, but also with the union. The union will meet tonight and they will get their first look at that offer from the district. But we're also told they could take action on a potential vote for a potential strike notice. School starts August 24th for Columbus City school children. August 21st is when the current teachers contract between the district and the union expires. I'm, I'm definitely worried about um, not starting school on time and just not having a normal year. I would like to, you know, we've had so many abnormal school starts um, the past several years. I would just like to see a sense of normalcy for the kids. Parent Jill Langhall said she'd like to see more transparency. What is being proposed and what is being offered on both sides of the bargaining table? The Columbus City School District Board of Education filed an unfair labor practice charge with the state, revealing some details about what has been debated, like class size, class load, and salaries. Dina Seco believes there's time to negotiate more. We need to acknowledge that teachers in a post pandemic world. Um, and the education system needs have changed. Um, the, the needs of families have changed and we really need to adapt. The full offer details have not been made public. We're told an advisory vote on a potential strike notice will happen at the union's meeting and there's a process to that. The result of the vote would be passed on to the union's legislative assembly, which would also have to hold a vote. I want to see the district lean into the requests of our teachers because our teachers know what our student, students need more than anyone. You know, if, they, if there's not that good working relationship, um, then yeah, really no one's going to be happy. Um, and I feel like that the sense of um, um, anxiety and, and, and butting heads could, you know, maybe trickle down to, to how um, some policy decisions are made and how the students are treated. Tonight's meeting for CEA members begins again in just about an hour here. Again, there will be 4,300 plus members at this meeting. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.